We can describe and compare function characteristics just by looking at different intervals of a given function. So we really sort of describe them in three ways as either increasing, decreasing, or constant. So we say a function with a graph that increases as you move from left to right is an increasing function. So this means the y values and the x values both increase. A function with a graph that decreases as you move from left to right means the y values decrease as the x values increase. So as you move from left to right, that's what these are talking about. It's increasing if they're both going up. So as you move to the right, obviously x is increasing, but y will also be. If it's decreasing as you go to the right, x is getting bigger as y is getting smaller or less. So a constant function just means that your graph doesn't increase or decrease as you move from left to right. So as the y values aren't going to change, your x values just keep increasing, but nothing is happening with that y. So for 1, 2, and 3, it wants us to state the domain intervals, so that's your x intervals, where each function increases, decreases, or is constant. So for number 1, the part where it increases, y is getting larger, is from here to here. So we can't use brackets because that three point is sort of the turning point. So what we do is just use parentheses and say from three onward, the graph or the function is increasing in that interval. When is it decreasing? From two to three. So that's why we use parentheses because we kind of have to use three as that end point or boundary point for both intervals. And where is it constant or linear without the y changing at all from negative five to two? So for number three, where are we increasing? Well, there's actually two spots. So this spot here, so from negative infinity to 2, and then it increases again from 6 to positive infinity. So we just put a gap there, spacing, or a u, stating that there's a gap there where it's not increasing. And then where is it decreasing? Well, in this case, in this function, it's actually not. So we will just say none. And it's constant from 2 to 6. And that's basically it. So why don't you guys try the other one there. So we can also sketch a graph if we're being described a situation and we can sort of sketch the intervals. So it says the temperature in Fahrenheit during a snowstorm slowly decreased at the start of the storm, reached its coldest halfway through the storm, quickly rose above the temperature at the start of the storm, and then decreased to the temperature at the start of the storm. So I'm going to mark sort of where we're going to consider the start of the storm temperature. So we're just going to say the start temperature was around, actually let's make this a little higher. So right here. So we're going to make that the start temperature. So the first thing it says is slowly decreased at the start of the storm and reached its coldest halfway through. So that's the coldest temperature and I don't know why I did dash line. That's the coldest temperature it reached. And then it says quickly rose above the temperature at the start. So if I know where the start is, quickly would be a steeper slope. And it's going to be above that start temperature. And then decrease to the temperature at the start of the storm. So by the end of the storm, it was back at the temperature of where it started. So something sort of close to that. 
again, yours wouldn't have to look the same, but the interval interval should match the description that it's giving you.